there guys, my name is Scott and this is Five Nights at Scott. Uh, what am I saying? Five Nights at Candies! Oh my god, what? what? I, I, I'm getting my intro confused. I don't even know what I'm doing. Anyway, this is the Five Nights at Freddy's game. We don't need to say anything about it. Let's just jump in and play it. Candies, Burgers, Rise, uh, Family Restaurant, Look at Burns, Like Gary Guard, The Warden, Night Jump, Normally, Evans, Like the Empire, Cameras, and Jersey, and the Equipment, and the Majority, Cameras, and the Oh, they never give you time to read the freaking paper. I didn't even see how much I get paid. Don't worry, after I upload this, I'll, 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 I'll look at it when I'm... In fact, I'll probably just pause it when I'm editing or something. Oh my god, you know what? Screw editing, I want to have all the ambience in this thing. But, um, okay, we can see absolutely nothing on the camera. Yeah. One. New message. <laughs> Too easy answer. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi? Uh, Junior Manager here. Uh, so you're the new security guard, right? Yeah, it's, it's great to finally have someone qualified for the job, you know? <laughs> uh, we have to, like, share the shift because, you know, someone has to be here during the night. Uh, but, but with you, uh, now we have more energy to be here during the day. Uh, you see, we're probably going to be a lot busier from now on. Um, you may have heard about the place called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, right? Uh, yeah, they got shut down yesterday. I don't know why, though. Uh, probably something like uh, tax fraud or such, you know. Uh, I never really liked that place. I always had a bad feeling about it, you know. Uh, their pizzas weren't even that good. And anyway, I think you're going to fit in really well here. The staff are really nice. Uh, we make sure to help each other out on everything. Like, uh, when, when we close late in the evening, we all make sure that the floors and tables are probably clean and all the dishes have been washed before we get off of the day. Uh, now, in order to save power, of course, all the lights will at night be turned off. But don't worry, we have a desk lamp in the office that you can use. If you open up the maintenance panel, you'll be able to view the restaurant through the secure cameras and the cameras all have a neat feature, which is night vision mode. These cameras were the cheapest we could get, so the night vision isn't that accurate, but it does retain the colors, which is good, I guess. Um, you can toggle the night vision by activating the camera you're already on. And uh, by the way, we have a security feature in the restaurant that limits how much power can be used after hours. Uh, this is mainly so that our electricity bill doesn't skyrocket hey. during night if hey. somebody forgot to turn off something somewhere. Hey, Candy. You know? hey, Cindy. Now, um, your office is also the information area, which you can tell because of the window counter in front of you. Uh, there should be a button underneath the desk, too. This is for the security door in front of your window. Uh, to your left and right are also two doors. These doors are, um, uh, a little stupid. Um, you see, they require power to be closed. Obviously. Uh, I think it was something about some computer somewhere always checking if they're closed or not. Or maybe it was a security feature, you know, in case the place was dark. Uh, like, if there was a power outage, you know, you, you would be stuck here. But the doors open up automatically if that happens. Um, all three doors are power driven, so... Basically, don't use too much power, otherwise the place will shut off completely. Uh, but, but don't worry, as I said, the doors will open up if that happens, so you won't be trapped. Uh, I think that was all for now. Uh, yeah, uh, good luck on your first night here. Uh, don't fall asleep, and have a good night. Oh well. Fine, that was the longest phone call I've ever heard. What made it even longer was your boring voice. Uh. Oh, okay. So it's it's apparently lagging because there's too many windows open. I don't know. It's weird. What was the dinging there? Okay, so there's Candy and there's Cindy. So they're they're made by Emil Marco. So is the penguin in camera ten. That's a Markiplier Easter egg, you see? The, the pink moustache? That is definitely a Markiplier Easter egg. And you guys can't see my mouse, but... Right next to, to blank... Right next to blank... You know... You know, um... 
you know, like the first painting you see, the, 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 the one that's above the one of candy and something else. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, the, the one with the face and the, the mustache. That is definitely a mark of fire Easter egg. Anyway, I should probably be. Oh, Sandy's gone because I was chatting too much. And she's there, so it's totally fine. Hey. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Sandy's moving. Sandy's moving. Oh, there you are, you little cheese whacker. I learned that from Double E, dude. You should probably check out his channel. He's He's got like 35k subscribers. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. So it's 3 a.m. So we're halfway there already. And Cindy is staring right at me. So so I'm guessing Candy is Cindy's brother. And Cindy is Candy's sister. That's what, that's what I'm guessing. And then... And then Blank just showed out of nowhere, just came out of nowhere, and they've been around ever since. I bet you Blank and the Penguin just showed up one day out of nowhere and just have been together since. I don't know. Ask Emil Marco how he made the structure and everything. Anyway, just check these two. Okay, 4 a.m. already, wow. Blasting through this. Look how creepy that looks when the night vision's off and you're on the camera wearing animatronic. It's just the creepiest thing. Okay, I think it, I think we're safe to say that I'm getting through night one. <laughs> then again, night one is kind of the warm up night. Okay, just there. You shut that door. So this is basically just a taste of what's to come, I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing. Wow, that's about as tedious and boring as the Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 night one. Except there's actually stuff moving. Because if you remember in Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 on night one, nothing was moving. So. And, uh, just, there. just wait till the perfect time to close it. That thing, that was a, that wasn't actually in the original game before it got the update on the four year anniversary when my dad passed away. That that was added. Okay. So anyway, let's just not talk about um, stuff that's off topic. Let's just focus on you here. Just gonna open that just to reduce the power. That's wasting. <sighs> just reduce the chance of losing all the power in the building. And then just, just again. Okay, 5 a.m. So I, 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 I guess it's pretty much confirmed that we're gonna make it through night one. Candy hasn't even moved yet. I, is, does, does Candy not move until like night two or something? These nights feel long, they really do. Even, even though this is the first night, it's feeling really long. Where, where did she go? Where did she go? Oh my god, there's something there. Okay, just, just close that. So is there anything there? No. Okay, so let's check on Candy. Oh god, Candy's moving too. Uh, where did Candy go? Where is Candy? Where is... Where the hell is- okay, Candy's at camera 3. Are you still there? Nope, you're not. You're not there. Okay. Not there anymore? But, but where did you go? That's the question. Are you back at cam 12? Oh, you're all the way back at cam 1. I guess I've ever seen that. Anyway, night 1 complete. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I'm the- I'm the new- I'm the- Prince of Final Fantasy Freddy's, not the king. Mark Flyer is the king. I'm just the prince. The mini prince. What the hell is this? Holding V? 
í vítið.